Yeah, the flight was good, easy. All right. Just uh, just one hour, I think. Okay. Uh, the airport was a little dodgy, though, to say the least. <laughs> uh, little Newcastle Airport. I, pl I played for Extrema, I think, uh, two, maybe three years ago, which which was good. Last year I did the uh, the Viva Arena at uh, Dance Valley, which I believe is closer than uh, than Eindhoven. Yes. So. <laughs> it's a lot closer, right? A lot closer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm quite excited about it. You know, last year we hosted an arena at the Dance Valley Festival, which was a huge success. It was great. You know, it's, it's something it's quite new for us doing arenas at festivals. And last year was a success, so to, to come back and do it this time for Extremely is, is quite cool. Um, I got a rush, I'm playing it in 15 minutes. 15? Yeah, we just arrived with a plane. So oh really? Okay, you need, you need to go then. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the difference between the, the festivals over here and everywhere else that I know is they all they all close at like 11 o'clock in the, in the evening. <laughs> this festival, by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it's packed because obviously it finishes at 11 o'clock, so it really is a daytime event. But, you know, I've done a few festivals over here in Holland before and they've always been great. Mandy are playing, Audio Fly, Daria Sarosian, Naira, Leon, David Kay, Kashmir, Jimenez. That's it for the for the Viva Music Arena. Label, the whole point of the event side of the label and the agency is when we find this new talent that, that we believe in, that we think is great music, we want to show that music to people, we want to get that music out there. Um, you know, one way in doing that is by releasing their records, another way is to be their agent and get them bookings around the world by doing a Viva event or Viva parties. It gives us a chance to, to get them out there. As new artists, they, they need this support. Um, and as the brand Viva Music, we want to be able to give that support to push this new music. That's the whole point about it. Cool DJ and you know, but this very 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 cool person. DJing at Sankey's at the time, um, and Steve Lawler was playing that night. But I run my own label, and I signed one of Naira's tracks, which I did a remix of, a little edit, and I played it. And Steve, as soon as uh, I played it, I noticed the crowd went off, and Steve was asking me what that was. I said, oh, it's our track. So I gave it to him, and then um, Steve smashed it that night. It was a really good night. And um, he rang me on the Tuesday, um, and then he played it at Space in Ibiza. 
and he said, this is amazing, can you do another production similar? He's got a remix of Livio Roby on Viva Music. Um, we did that remix, it went down really well, and after that we did two tracks we signed as exclusive. Well, Audio Fly, of course, uh, they're, they're, they're hugely successful now, they're doing really well. The whole thing came about with uh, Anthony and Luca. I was playing at the conference and it was one of my annual Lights Out parties. Nobody could get down to the DJ booth. The bouncers were letting nobody down there. And then all of a sudden I look behind me and there's this one guy, this one tall sort of uh, <laughs> geeky looking guy just creeping down the steps. And I thought, who the hell's this? Anyway, he came up to me and said that he had a, a CD for me. And Anyway, after Lights Out, there was an after hours party and we had to put some music on and I pulled this CD out and put the CD in. And it was amazing. It was really, really, I was massively impressed. So I called him and that's kind of how the whole thing started. Really organically, you know, he got a CD to me. Somehow he got down those steps when no one else could. I just wanted to help them because they were super talented. I kind of went all around the festival about 100 meters, <laughs> kind of uh, freaked out a little bit because I just got lost, mate. You know, <laughs> felt like I was in Tokyo or something and, uh, and kind of came running back to the backstage. <laughs> we are just finished an album. We just finished it. It's coming out on Get Physical in all October. Um, we're working on the label, Super Nature. We're, uh, running around, climbing trees, like jumping off cliffs and uh, having a good time. I'm super happy to be part of the Viva family. It's like the, Steve has always made me feel part of the family. Uh, I love him, I love him, I love him. This is, he didn't pay me to say this. I uh, just, uh, yeah, I love what he's doing. I, I love the, I love his whole journey through the music scene and where he is now and where he came from and where he wants to go and uh, full support. The way that we choose the lineups for Viva Music First and foremost is the music that we love and the music that we like. You know, not all of the artists that we use are always associated with the label, but they're friends. You know, like Mandy are playing today, for instance. You know, they, they've not done anything on the label as yet, but, you know, we've, we've played together a lot and, you know, we're friends and it's uh, great to, to get together on these events. is always a really important part of my career. Having a record label is an important part of my career. It's as much as a hobby as it is, you know, a, a duty. It's a labour of love and I had Harlem Records before. I, I didn't really feel like I had freedom. So with Viva Music, I set it up solely on my own and, and just kept it in the family and started it as a small label, just putting out music we love. And it's grown over the years and now obviously we have the, the agency. And, it's all there to support the artists on the label.
they play this music deep? Do they not dance? Do they not understand? Do they not realize the origins of this nature? The funky soul breakers with those bongos and the shakers keeping tempo with the vibe. When you hear this music deep, do you get a chill down your spine? Like when there's something special in the air, something unexplainable, something inexplicable, something that moves you to the point of elation like a soul revelation. When you hear this music deep, does it make you want to call on your friends and tell them where to meet you and tell them how the beat just pulls you in and holds you up to a higher force of consciousness, bringing purpose to your life and making everything all right. With those bass drops and high pass filters, ooh, I feel good when I hear that sound. It always makes me get down. And when I pull myself up off the floor, I sing out to the DJ, give me some more. And he obliges us with songs like Mr. D's I Can Sing. Sing hallelujah goes the record because it's a beautiful thing. When we can all come together despite color, belief, or creed. The music is our connection and we like to hear it deep. Get a chill down your spine like when there's something special in the air, something unexplainable, something inexplicable, something that moves you to the point of elation like a soul revelation. When you hear this music deep, does it make you want to call on your friends and tell them when to meet you and tell them how the beat just pulls you in and holds you up to a higher force of consciousness, bringing purpose to your life and making everything all right. With those bass drops and high pass filters, ooh, I feel good when I hear that sound. It always makes me get down. And when I pull myself up off the floor, I sing out to the DJ, give me some more. And he obliges us with songs like Mr. D's I Can Sing. Sing hallelujah goes the record because it's a beautiful thing. When we can all come together despite color, belief, or creed. The music is our connection and we like to hear it deep. Thank you. 